Good day, let's do some adding and subtracting for measurement feet and inches. So here we have this first problem here, 10 feet and six and three eight inches plus four feet, eight and a half inches. Okay, you see that we're doing addition here. Okay, we're doing addition. So what's gonna end up happening is that sometimes what's gonna happen is you're gonna be kind of moving things over in this direction because remember that you basically have 12 inches for every feet. Okay, so anything greater than anything 12 inches or above is gonna carry over here. Okay, plus one. If I have 12 inches, that means I have an extra foot. Okay, so basically you're gonna be carrying kind of carrying things over in this direction. Okay, remember that this is for addition. When you're doing addition, when you're doing addition, things are going to be kind of moving in this direction. Okay, when you're doing addition, that's the direction things are going to be moving. So what you want to do is you want to start with the, start with the fraction portion of the inches. Okay, this is the fraction portion. Here's your inches and fractions. So these are fractions of an inch. Okay, so what we have here is we have three eighths plus one half. Okay, remember this is uh, the fractions of an inch. Though. So three eighths of an inch plus one half of an inch. Okay, what you want to do is you want to do your common denominator method. So we have three eighths plus one half. Now to get this one half, to find a common denominator, okay, you see your common denominator is gonna be eight, okay, because two, two goes into eight. So your common denominator in this case is gonna be eight. Okay, so to change one half into uh, something over eight, okay, remember we wanna have eight at the bottom. You see you're gonna multiply it by 4 over 4. Okay, so 1 half ends up becoming 4 eighths. Okay, 4 eighths and 1 half is the exact same. Okay, so we're just doing our basic fractions, finding a common denominator. We see the common denominator is 8. Okay, so adding those together, we get 7 eighths. So for our fraction column here we have seven eighths okay that's for this portion right here now the solid inches here we have six and eight six plus eight that gives us 14 okay ten and four also give us 14 so we have 14 feet and 14 and 7 eighths inches. But remember this, that for every 12 inches, you have an extra foot. Okay, so we're going to be kind of carrying things over to the left. Remember, when we're doing addition, we're doing addition, we're carrying things over this direction. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 12 from the 14. Okay, that gives us 2 and 7 eighths inches. Now that extra 12 is going to be added on over here. So we have 15 feet. We get our final answer, 15 feet, 2 and 7 eighths inches. Okay, see all we're doing is every, every 12 feet, or excuse me, every 12 inches you have an extra foot. So here we have this is greater than 12 inches. So we have an extra foot in there. We have to carry over. Okay, go ahead and write all this down, uh, maybe review it. I'm gonna do another problem here, another addition problem. All right, so this problem here, you can see we're gonna be doing some carries again. Once again, when you're doing addition, that your carries are gonna be going to the left here. Okay, so first we're gonna start here with the fraction portion. Okay, always start there with the fractions. So we have three quarters plus three quarters. Okay, that equals six quarters or one and one half. Okay, uh, excuse me, I should say uh, one and two fourths 
and that equals one and one half. Okay, you're just taking this top heavy fraction and turning it into a mixed fraction. Okay, taking a top heavy fraction and mix, turning it into a mixed fraction. Okay, so here we have one and one half. Okay, when we added three quarters plus three quarters, we get one and one half inches. Okay, next we gotta add this portion of it. Okay, three, 10, and one, that gives us 14. So here we have 14 and one half inches. Okay, once again, you can see that when you have anything more than 12 inches, that it needs to kind of move over this direction. We're going to be carrying it over. Okay, remember, for every 12 inches, that equals one foot. Okay, so if you have 14 inches, okay, that's one foot, two inches. Okay, because 12 feet equals an inch, or 12, <laughs> excuse me, 12, 12 inches equals a foot. Okay, 12 inches equals a foot. So anything greater than 12 inches, you're going to have an extra foot in there. It's going to carry over. Okay, and to find out, you're going to basically, if you have this 14 inches, you're just going to su subtract 12 inches. Okay, that leaves you 2 inches. Okay, this here is a foot, so you have 1 foot, 2 inches. Okay, so carrying this 14 over... Basically, just like I said, we have 14 and one half inches. Okay, subtract 12 inches. That gives us two and one half inches remaining plus one foot. Okay, so that one foot's going to go here. Okay, so instead of 14 and a half, we now have two and a half. Okay, and that extra foot gets moved over here to the left. So let's see, we have two and one half inches. Now 16, 15, and one, that's 16 and 16, that gives us 32. So 32 feet, two and a half inches. So we get for our answer here. All right, so we have nine feet, nine and three quarters inch minus two feet, five and a half inches. Now, when you're doing subtraction, what you're going to be doing is borrowing and moving things to the right. Remember, when we were doing addition, we were kind of adding things to the left. So now that we're doing subtraction, we're going to be kind of crossing out and borrowing and then moving things to the right. Okay, so what you kind of want to do here is you want to start once again with the fraction portion of it. So we have three quarters minus one half. Okay, we want to get a common denominator. We see that the common denominator here is going to be four. So we have three quarters minus one half times two over two. Okay, this will give us our common denominator of 4. So we have 3 over 4 minus 2 over 4. Okay, remember this number here, 2 fourths, is equivalent to 1 half. Okay, 2 fourths is equivalent to 1 half. We're just changing the denominator to get a common denominator so we could do our subtraction. So 3 over 4 minus 2 over 4 equals 1 over 4. Okay, so that's our fraction portion, 1 fourth. Okay, now 9 minus 5. 9 minus 5 simply gives us 4. So we have 4 and 1 quarter inches. And then 9 minus 2 gives us 7. So it looks like we have 7 feet, 4 and 1 fourth inch for our answer. All right, so here's an example where we're going to have to kind of cross out and borrow. So once again, we want to start here at the 
fraction, the fraction portion of the inches. Okay, so we have one half inch minus one quarter inch. What we need to do is get a common denominator. Okay, so we have minus one fourth. So we have one half. What we're going to do is multiply this by two over two. Okay, so that gives us two over four minus one over four, which just equals one fourth. Okay, once again, just doing the common denominator. Here we see that the common denominator is number four. So we've got to change this fraction here into having something with a four on the bottom. Okay, to do that, we just multiply by the fraction two over two. Okay, multiply straight across when you're doing your fractions. It gives us two fourths minus one fourth equals one fourth. So here we have one quarter, uh, one fourth of an inch for the uh, fraction portion of the answer. Okay, next we want to do this portion of it here. Okay, three inches minus four inches. Now you can't really do that because you, you end up getting a negative number, right? Three minus four is negative one. So instead of doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to cross out one of these feet. So now we have 15 feet and we're going to add 12 inches to this, to this three inches. Okay, we're just borrowing 12 inches. And to do that, we cross out, subtract one from the feet, borrowing 12 inches. So 12 and three gives us 15. 15 minus four, that's going to give us 11. So we have 11 and one quarter inch. Okay, once again, we have three minus four, can't do that. So we're going to have to borrow one foot, which is 12 inches. Okay, so we're just borrowing. Remember I said when you're doing subtraction, you're going to be borrowing things this way. Okay, so just add on this tw extra 12 inches. So 3 and 12 give us 15. 15 minus the 4 gives us 11. And then finally, this portion of it, now we have 15 minus 9. Of course, that gives us 6. So 6 feet, 11 and 1 quarter inch is our answer. Okay, remember when you're doing subtraction, you're going to be borrowing, crossing out and borrowing this direction. All right, next problem here, we have 20 feet, 5 and 1 eighth inch, minus 12 feet, 7 and 3 eighths of an inch. Once again, starting here on the fraction portion. Okay, we have 1 eighth minus 3 eighths. <clears throat> well, that's going to give us a negative 2 eighths as an answer. Okay, 1 minus 3 gives us a negative 2. So we can't really do this, this portion of it here. We can't do the fraction portion of it unless we borrow something. So we're going to have to borrow here. So we're going to borrow one inch. Okay, one inch is eight over eight, right? Eight over eight is one. So we're going to borrow one inch as eight over eight. And we're going to add that extra inch onto the one eighth of an inch. So now we have nine eighths of an inch. Okay, see all we're doing is, like I said, we're crossing out and borrowing in this direction. So we have this five cross it out, we got a four, subtract one gives us four. That extra one is here, eight over eight, plus the one over eight. So eight over eight plus one over eight gives us nine eighths. Okay, now we could do the subtraction. So we have, excuse me, we have nine eighths minus three eighths. Okay, that equals six over eight. Okay, six over eight, or reducing the fraction if you want, three-fourths. So we get our answer here, three-fourths of an inch, okay, for the fraction portion of it. Simply by crossing out and borrowing that extra inch. Here's that extra inch, eight over eight, that's that extra inch. So eight over eight plus one over eight gives us nine-eighths. Nine-eighths, subtract the three-eighths, gives us six-eighths or three-fourths. Okay, now we're coming across a similar problem here because now we're going to do 4 minus 7. Okay, 4 minus 7, you can't do 4 minus 7. So what we have to do is we have to cross out one of these feet and add 12, add 12 here. Okay, remember every foot 
gives you 12 inches. So if I borrow one foot, I'm basically borrowing 12 inches. So now we have 12 and 4, that gives us 16. 16 minus 7 gives us 9. Okay, so 9 and 3 quarters inch. Finally here, this 9 minus 12, 9 minus, tw or, excuse me, 19 minus 12, 19 minus 12 gives us 7. So we get our answer is 7 feet, 9 and 3 quarters of an inch. Remember, when you're doing subtraction, you're going to be crossing out and borrowing in this direction. Okay, when you're doing your addition, you're going to be kind of adding things, kind of carrying over to the left. When you're doing subtraction, you cross out and borrow. When you're doing addition, you're carrying over. All right, just a short video here on adding and subtracting feet and inches. I just want to thank you for making it to the end of the video. Uh, please hit the like button if you like these type of videos. And if you want to see more, simply subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.